This video covers how to navigate your tutor dashboard on the Reading Partners Connects online tutoring platform. Your tutor dashboard is the first thing you will see when you log in to Reading Partners Connects. On the homepage, you'll see a list of your upcoming scheduled sessions. For each session, you'll see the student's name, you'll see the date of the session, you'll see the tutor start time, which is the time that you as the tutor will be able to log on and join the session. You'll see the student start time, which is when the student will join, and you'll see the end time of the session. As you scroll to the right in the scheduled session section, you'll also see an I-shaped icon where you can preview the lesson, a view button where you can view the details about the lesson, and finally a join button that you can click to join the session once the session time has started. We will cover these options in more detail when we talk about previewing and preparing your lesson. I also wanted to call out that if you click the student's name, Reading Partners Connects will pull up the student details, which will show helpful information about your student. And there'll also be a history tab, which you can click and see the student's recent history on their sessions. You can also see session notes from past sessions that that student has had. On the Reading Partners Connects Tutor Dashboard, you'll also have access by expanding the sidebar to our lesson library and book library. To view the lesson library, click the Lessons button. You'll be able to see examples of all of the Reading Partners curriculum that's available. So if your student is in Beginning Readers, you'll select Beginning Readers, and you'll be able to see examples of all of the Beginning Readers lessons. You can also view our book library by clicking the book icon, and this will show you a list of all of the currently available books for the tutor read aloud that happens at the beginning of each lesson. To go back to your tutor dashboard, select the home icon. Finally, you can click in the upper right hand corner to see your account information. For example, if you would like to change your preferred name or contact information, and this is also where you'll go to log out. 